Welcome to the Market Mindset. We are the hub for news, results, and CEO interviews focusing in the junior commodities sector. We provide market analysis and perspective that will help position you for solid returns. If that sounds like something you're interested in, you can help support us by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification bell. For more info, you can visit our website. All links are in the description below. Now let's get into today's video. Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Market Mindset. Uh, we're catching up with John Pasalacqua, who's the CEO and director over at First Phosphate. And uh, boy, uh, you guys have come out of the gate charging. Lots of news. And of course, today, I just want to you know catch up on this latest news release where you've signed an LFP production technology license agreement with Integrals Power Limited out of the UK. Uh, you guys are moving fast here. So let's, let's dive into this news release and tell me, tell me what this does for the company. Yeah. Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate that. You know, we are working hard here and, uh, you know, we, we just, uh, we keep going along our plans and hitting our milestones companies, you know, somewhere between three and nine months ahead of plan at this point. Um, and this is another agreement that we brought in ahead of schedule. Um, basically what this, uh, allows us to do is, you know, now, now we could, you know, with companies such as integrals. Uh, we're able to complete the whole cycle. So we're able to go from mine all the way to cathode active material. You know, first, when you start, you have to kind of put together the shape around things, but this sort of completes the pipeline. Um, Integrals Power has a technology for creating cathode active material. Um, so, and uh, what we're moving towards doing with them is uh, um, homologating our materials to their process, meaning, you know, uh, the, the phosphoric acid that uh, we will be producing and also the iron sulfate that we will be producing will now be able to uh, be validated through their process. And once that is done, uh, then we know that, it, that uh, you know, we can start working together with them and to actually create cathode active materials. And that's, you know, just the beginning of, of getting customers on board to buying the product eventually. And not to get too much in the weeds, because I think we've talked about before, this is, is so vital because in the West, this new way of beneficiating uh, for creating the, the, the high purity that you need for batteries, uh, this new technique or, or, or way of doing things there's not a lot of companies doing it and you guys wanted to find the right partner specifically that could do it instead of say the way the Chinese are doing it. Yeah. So when you look at uh, methods for producing uh, LFP cathode active material, there's the traditional, what they call solid state or precursors method that's used mostly in China. And that, that's a great method for, you know, kind of just getting it done. But what it doesn't allow you to do is to, is to control the outcome very much. It's kind of produces more of a, of a generic kind of uh, LFP. But with this hydrothermal method where you're using a wet uh, in situ materials, um, such as Integrals Power is, is using, you're able to have control over such things as, you know, temperature, uh, porosity, pressure, time, and a few other elements. So you can actually create different types of LFP for different needs. Um, so that's really important. It really allows uh, the, you know, it opens the door to, towards uh, improved performance, which is really important. And it fits really well with what First Phosphate is doing because First Phosphate is trying to assemble all the ingredients to make LFP uh, wet in situ um, at the port of Saguenay in, in, in Quebec. So, you know, it's, it's it's a perfect marriage in that sense. And, and in this agreement, too, you guys, uh, you have a, a technology with them uh, for facilities, say, to be built in Quebec, Canada or elsewhere in North America. And there's a 1.5 percent royalty for that. That's a big plus on top of that, just so people understand uh, like Integral, they just did an oversubscribed uh, placement. They've got strong support from the UK government. Uh, if if we, you know, on my show, we can do a separate, just quick look at that, the company itself, uh, uh, how big a player they are in this space. I think that also kind of lets people know that you're choosing the right partners. Yeah. So what's really interesting, uh, Andrew, is, you know, I think you have two, two ends of this. You've got the upstream and you've got the midstream. So kind of, you know, first faucet is the upstream where we're producing the materials. And the midstream is sort of, you know, uh, IPL where they come in with their technology and that's where we meet them. So, the, you know, it's kind of a marriage where the, the two are very necessary. You know, first, everything starts off in the laboratory, such as IPL's technology. But then when they start getting closer to commercialization like they are now, they start looking at, well, you know, how, how what is this going to look like when we take it out of the lab? And then you're like, oh, my gosh, right? It's, it's very different than in the lab. In the lab, you're just mixing, you know, beakers of one liter, two liter, and it works all well. But, you know, when you're doing this at, a, you know, 100,000 tons of... Uh, the phosphoric acid, uh, iron sulfate, uh, lithium, you know, what does that look like? And, you know, how do you get that together? So that's why we're starting to get a lot of interest from 
a lot of these companies that have the technology to say, okay, you know, now it's good. We're coming out of the lab and that's where they need first phosphate. And that's why it's very important too, because, you know, first phosphate is not only assembled, um, you know, the, the proper in situ materials to do this, but also the conditions to do it. What do I mean by that? You know, industrial port space, the port of Saguenay, the, you know, hundreds of acres of port space available where, you know, a whole battery ecosystem can develop around the LFP battery, you know, and also, you know, access to uh, the port, access to rail in the area, uh, access to workforce, um, and access, you know, to 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 green and cheap uh, energy from Hydro Quebec, which is very important to, to remain on the on the carbon neutral scale. You know, so a company like IPL, they're they're, they're based in the UK, and you know, access to hydro might be a little bit more difficult. So it's you know, it's starting to you know, this is when things really start to come together, and this is when reality starts to manifest. And then also, you know, IPL has already you know got a pretty interesting uh, uh, client book that's looking at at, at their material. And a lot of the, those players are from North America. So they're going to need, you know, production facilities as well. So you're really starting to see the, the whole industry come together. And it's, and it's you know, material deals like this um, that we put together with IPL, which, you know, are the beginning of, you know, reality starting to shine on LFP uh, within the uh, Western uh, North American context. Well, it's, it's clear to see the hard work you put in before uh, to lead you here. Uh has attracted you know, both Preon from before the, uh, the MOU news release, and then of course IPL. Uh, they're not going to be attracted unless you've got all the keys and all the the puzzle pieces put together, and and they need to see that. And clearly, having those kind of partnerships uh, is, is 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 a very strong acknowledgement, uh, regardless of what the stock's trading at, but as a milestone that you're making huge steps at a very fast pace. Uh, you know, I've, I've mentioned before, this is mining, it, it moves at a snail space, but this is moving very quickly. Uh, and that's got to give people a lot of hope and a lot of excitement as well. Yeah, it's moving quickly because, you know, the, the, the battery metal space is one that, it's, you know, has to be resolved as soon as possible. So we're looking to kind of, you know, we're moving fast to be able to meet when the demand is going to be there, you know, come 2026, 2027, 2028, you got to be there. And that's a time frame that we're working on. And that's why we're working, you know, very quickly towards that. Um, and that's why also, you know, now you're starting to see um, companies, you know, coming together in clusters, kind of like what we're doing with Preon and IPL and, and certain others that are on the way, because we can't solve for all the um, elements and all the answers on our own. We need the partners to start solving with it to with them together. And this is where the, you know, the real finesse and the devil in the detail starts to happen. And uh, we're there for that. And we're advancing that that discussion. You know, th this is where First Phosphate's always wanted to be wanted to be at the forefront of the LFP in North America uh, and in the Western world. And that's where we continue to be and we continue to lead. And partnerships like this are just, you know, um, sort of, you know, the the manifestation of, of that leadership. Well, thanks again. I really appreciate you spending some time here, especially so quickly, because this is big news. Uh, it just seems to be one after another. And I really wanted to make sure that we got this out. So, John, I really appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you uh, again soon, whenever more news comes out. Thank you, Andrew. I always appreciate being on the show.